Hello, this is Mitch King with a Thursday evening, October 1st, 2009 Daily Stock Report. Here's the S&P 500. Big down day today of 2.6%. This is clearly a change of sentiment where the market is focusing on negative economic news. We've had three announcements this week of economic data that the market has reacted negatively to, but most of the last six months, the market has ignored any negative news and just kept powering up. So we're seeing a little bit of a change in sentiment. It's very possible that we could just see a higher high from here and rebound, somewhat like we saw right in here, that big down day that was caused by the Chinese market, I believe, some sort of Chinese government announcement there, and yet we had a higher high. And that's very possible that we can see that here. But each time we see these big drops like today, it's always a little scary considering that this has been about two to three down days now in a row after happily accepting the stock market going up for pretty much since March 10th. So the thing to watch for is if the market rebounds, probably after a little bit of drop tomorrow, we're likely to see some buying tomorrow and into the next week at least use that rebound that we expect to get better prices to sell the long positions that you have. Today was real big harvest day on the shorts. Let's take a look at some of those. Here's ATPG, ATP oil and gas, hit 1650. But let's take a look at some other ones that were bigger moves and a lot closer to their target price. CMED, here's that swing trade on First Solar just a few days ago. Ended up hardly making any money, about 2.7%. The ATPG one was that we just talked about was about a 10.7% profit on the short side. Here's Lincare, another short that was covered, I think, yesterday. STP was a short covered today. I sent you a midday email alert on several stocks. This is one of them. Get was a Gaylord Entertainment. Probably could have held this open longer, but I saw that 10.3% drop, and I said, hey, I'm taking that one. So 18% profit in just a couple of days on the short side. So the very few people that email me that short selling is not for them, well, this is the reason why it should be considered to have a balance of longs and shorts. When you have a series of down days in the market, you're letting your shorts mature. You harvest those by closing, and then you position yourself in the longs at the right time. So you got a balance of stocks. Let's take a look at CAH. It was a new short. And URI, United Rentals, we rode up on the long side for a while, and now we're short. RIM hasn't gone down a whole lot more than the first two down days earlier this week, so that seems to be holding. I think a lot of the selling is out of that stock. The insurance companies were starting to rebound fairly well, except for today and uh, yesterday afternoon, so down 5.3%. So we're in trouble on this prudential long position, which is now we've given up the profit on this one. So insurance companies are acting back. Uh, watch this one a little carefully they, that it just doesn't start falling off the edge of the world there. Here's a couple other stocks that were closed for the idea of trying to reduce the total amount of long positions not trying to incur deep losses on these that were were profits. So AXP, American Express, was closed, as well as Apple Computer, which is a stock we've been trading several times. And we may just be considering to repurchase that fairly soon. So start covering your short positions tomorrow if you didn't do that today. And we should start seeing a re rebound start tomorrow or Friday and into next week. We'll see how the market treats that buy on the dips. Eventually the buy on dips will stop working and it's always the biggest challenge to find out when and when the first time it is that it doesn't work. So you guys take care, have a great weekend, put the odds in your favor, don't get leveraged. I'll talk to you Sunday night.